Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Aries. Let's see what's going on for you for general energy and love. All right, thank you Lord God for blessing Aries with a clear, concise message from you. All right, Aries, what's going on for Aries? General energy for Aries. The general energy for Aries. Okay, now the page of fire. Okay, so you could be learning something. Yeah, you could be learning something here. You could also, um, a renewed sense of self. I don't know, just confidence. And you're diving right into something. Just jumping head first into it, uh, exploring something. You don't know much about it, but you know that you want to be successful in it, whatever it may be. Um, you're actively doing something with the Page of Wands here, okay? Um, or you're actively pursuing or, or messages are going back and forth in terms of you starting something, okay? And it's just the, the you know, the initial stages here. What's this general energy about for Aries? So we have the King of Cups here. Uh, <clears throat> it could definitely be in relation to business matters, especially if you do something um, creative, you create something with your hands or your, your art uh, or culture or something of that nature. You also could have something to do, it could have something to do with, um, I don't know, when the King of Cups shows up, it's like bedside manner. And someone having to be compassionate, uh, diplomatic, almost. Um, I don't know, you could work in the medical field. Uh, you could work with um, different personalities. You meet with so many different people or different personalities. You have to, you know, kind of govern yourself accordingly. Uh, also, you have to, um, you're able to balance out all those different uh, personality personality. Uh, traits that you are met with because um, the King of Cups is very balanced. So um, it looks like whatever you're doing, it works well or goes well for you. you also concerned about the business aspect and component of, of you, what you do, especially if you work for uh, an institution or a company. Um, you're, you're concerned about the business matters. Um, you also could be prompting or something or going after something in terms of business. I don't know, maybe somebody, um, you know, uh, it could be asking for the promotion. It could be uh, pursuing something new. It could be learning something. It could be getting more money or getting money from, from you know, business or something of that nature. Um, let's see what's going on for you in love. What's going on for Aries in love? What's going on for Aries in love? Very nice, the Queen of Fire. So you get yourself showing up there. Um, <clears throat> it looks like for you and love, you're very admirable. Uh, you have a lot of suitors. Um, you're very charismatic, outgoing, sultry, seductive. Maybe even when you're not, you know, even when you're not trying to be. Um, there's just an air about you that you know, exudes sex appeal. You also could have a lot of people, you know, vying for your attention here. Um, also, you're trying to embark on different creative, uh, you're trying to create different opportunities in love. So I don't know, some of you could be putting yourself out there, whether it's on social media, dating sites, um, getting with matchmakers or something of that nature. You're trying to create different opportunities to expound in love. It says that luck is on your side also, um, and that your manifestation power is very high. You're trying to bring in what it is you really want for yourself. Let's clarify love for Aries here. I don't know, some of you could be the other woman, because our Queen of Wands is typically the other woman. Uh, let's see, or there is another woman, I don't know. All right, clarify. The King of Swords, so could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, uh, Aquarius, um, or Capricorn person here, or even a Scorpio. Um, <clears throat> you got two different dynamics here. You guys are not 
you okay I just heard, you guys are not equally yoked you're not a match somebody is out to get what it is they want from you um they could have high standards this could be you this could be someone who is the eternal bachelor maybe even the covert narcissist this is a person who's very ambitious they go after what they want once it's conquered you know it might be kind of over and done here um with you being on fire in terms of being passionate and trying to create um, in your creative uh, nature as the queen of wands and this person showing up as in their masculine energy but very um intellectual cerebral um strategic methodical it's almost as if they want to um okay i'm just gonna start saying right here lay a trap for you i don't know it's as if they um have thought about something they're very calculated in how they're moving with you um it looks like it's silence between the two of you give me one card to sum up this love connection yeah um so the knight of swords so this person could be making strategizing making some big move towards you um they know that they're losing you or they have lost you or they're in the brink of this relationship being completely over so they know that they have to make some grand gesture towards you to win you back but do keep in mind after that is done after the winning you back happens there's nothing else after that there's no plan there's no agenda there's no course of action it was just that getting you back uh, the knight of, knight of swords does not have a plan most of the knights don't after they conquer what it is they want to conquer for they are the knights they're out on conquest on duty so it looks like um i don't know either you or the other person this is, is on duty once you get what you want you're you're out of there somebody has extracted yeah their emotions out of this they're all it's all games it's all fun and games um and to them it's all strategy interesting one more card to clarify the general energy for my aries it looks like aries is trying to embark on something new the ace of swords so it looks like you will um get what you're after you will uh, have victory here but not before confrontation or conflict something about how you do things and what you want or what you're asking for or promotion or money or i don't know but it's going to be conflict before resolution but you will have resolution and victory here it's just like you have to just be clear cut you have to see the truth of the matter that someone is trying to or is this company is or that you need to do you know all of those different things um so it looks like you will have victory here but it, it says not without conflict because your mind is going to be sharp here in terms of how you present something to someone else or how they presented it to you um you see through something here let's leave aries with one last card of advice aries with one last card of advice for this week the three of pentacles okay so you're doing some high quality work in terms of your business or whatever it is you do. If you work for a company, uh, superiors are looking at you, questioning you, asking you things about uh, your work, work ethic, what um, your goals, um, your plans. Uh, coworkers are also looking at you or looking to, you know, for you uh, to give answers or uh, guidance. Um, it says that you're in the initial stages of creation, okay? But you're creating something very foundational. It says that whatever you're putting your talents and efforts to, um, this is what you should be doing. It's going to yield you great profit reward here because this is what you should be doing. Um, in love, it's like you and another person need to figure out how to share your lives with one another because it seems this is you guys are very independent in nature what i do like is that you came up both as um feminine and masculine and the three of pentacles talks about the three of pentacles typically on typical uh tarot cards they are arranged the pentacles are arranged in a triangle uh, representing masculine feminine energy and that divine spark holding you two together so it's just about 
what are you creating is it a long-term love affair that never gets to you know life partner marriage um house dog kids or or is it just um or is it going there you have to really ask yourself that um you have to ask yourself what are we building because it seems as if you guys need to go to a, a next step or another step here uh the threes are about creation so um and it seems as if um yeah maybe a feminine energy here wants to um take something further here so that's what i have for you if it resonates for you aries please go over to the website take advantage of the 20 percent off on uh, the the readings at the website level um Thank you, Aries. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. If you would like to schedule a personal reading, um, you could go to the website or you could also, okay, I'm flustered because I, I just got a phone call that I needed to take. Um, anyhow, you could text uh, a question or two to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link. Thank you, Aries. Many blessings to you.